Hey everybody, welcome back to Parsons and Parsimony. Tonight I am making the bread that I've been making a lot lately. It's a no need, it's an overnight bread, and it can sit in the refrigerator for up to a week, which has been really, really convenient. And <laughs> the recipe I've been quadrupling. So tonight I'm doing the pre-ferment, which you do the night before, and then you make the bread the next day. I just came home and I need to make the pre-ferment and I thought I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. And so anyways, I'm going to bring you along as I mix this up. If you've never done a pre-ferment, it's really, really easy. I think the big thing that I love about this recipe is you mix it up and you forget about it. So there is very little hands-on time, something that even my kids could do. Okay, big bowl, definitely big bowl because I'm doing a quadruple batch. Two cups of water and need about a teaspoon of yeast, so about that much yeast. And then three cups of whole wheat flour. How easy is this? Three, one, two, three. plastic wrap on it. I'm going to leave it on my stove for the rest of the night and then in the morning I will mix it up. Super easy and I can forget about it until tomorrow. So good night. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's the next day. It's been about tw almost 12 hours since I mixed up that dough. Added a little bit more water. Go ahead Lily. You can take the plastic wrap off for mommy. It looks a little dry. Yeah, it's okay. Let's see. Yeah, I probably could have used a little bit. But you can see how airy it is. To this, we're going to go ahead and add four cups of water. Lily, do you want to start mixing for Mommy? Go ahead and mix that. And we're going to add two tablespoons plus two teaspoons of salt. That's one. Go. Two. Dumb. And then two tablespoons. We're making a quadruple batch. And two teaspoons. There we go. Now add it. There we go. And then lastly, 10 cups of flour. 10 wow. cups of flour. That's a That's lot of flour. A lot. It will make it the bowl get so full. It's going to be uh, really full. Yeah, but it'll like be okay. That okay. Up to there. Okay, 10 cups. Here we go. You're going to help me count? Uh huh. Ready? One. Let's see if we can keep this straight. Two. Wow, this is full. I'm almost out of flour. Nine. And one more. One more. We got this ten. Wow, that's a big job. Can you stir carefully? Yeah. <laughs> you let me got it. We're good helpers. You are. Thank you. We are. So we're going to mix that up until all the flour is mixed up. You might need Mommy's help. And then we're going to let it sleep for three hours, three or four hours, okay? We are done mixing it, and you can see it's stiff, but very, very, very sticky. I'm going to scrape down the sides of the bowl, put the plastic wrap on, and forget about it for another three, four hours. We're just going to put it on top gently so it can take a rest, kind of like when you guys take a nap. Mm. It's been almost five hours since we mixed up the dough. There it is. So now at this point, I'm just going to refrigerate this. And I can take it out at any point and use it or refrigerate it for a minimum of three hours. The dough works much better when it's chilled. So that's what I'm um, at this point. Let's see, it's almost four o'clock. So I probably just will make it tomorrow. I'll just throw it in the fridge and then use it tomorrow when I have a chance. And then... I will only probably do one or two loaves and then I'll save the rest for later on in the week. But this has been huge help for me having our family goes through one loaf of bread for each meal. So 
This is four days worth of lunches if I do this every day, but I'm usually able to substitute with something else, whether it be soups or um, goulash or something like that. So this has been a huge help making it about once a week. And if you haven't tried Big Batch refrigerator bread, it's awesome. I am back and the dough has sat in the refrigerator for I think it's been close to 24 hours since I dealt with it yesterday. It really rose quite a bit in the refrigerator. And because I'm using these larger size loaf pans, this quadruple batch will make me three large loaves. What's a quadruple? Four times quadruple. Quad means wow. four. So I'm gonna take this out, put it on a heavily floured counter, divide this into three pieces. I'm making two loaves today, and then the other loaf I'm actually just gonna put in the refrigerator and I'll use that sometime in the next couple days. I'm going to grease the top of my plastic wrap here and then put this in a warm place and let this rise until it's about doubled. That's going to take anywhere from two, four, six hours because it's just, it's very slow. And the beautiful thing about this is I did not need this once. It's literally mixing it and having it rest time. The cold in the refrigerator really makes it a lot easier to handle and making sure you well flour your counter so the, the dough doesn't stick to the counter piece. The dough is sticky. So with enough flour, it is good to go and pretty easy to manage. Just divide it up, throw it in your pans. I'll be back. Once okay, the bread's all has risen and I'm going to attempt if I grease this well, it should just come right off. And if I didn't grease it well, well, it'll stick. See how well I could did. There we go. They are done. They look beautiful. I'm going to pop them out, let them cool. Of course, I'm going to try my hand at popping them out once again. I usually don't have problems with breads, just cakes seem to be my nemesis. But we will try it once again. See if it works on camera. Here we go, folks. One, two, three. Yes, it worked. <laughs> I have not been defeated. One more time. Here we go. One, two, hot. <laughs> mm, this one, a little stuck on the top here. Not def declaring defeat. I think we just got a little sticky spot right there. Yep, yeah, just stuck a little bit in the corner there. All right. Dun, da, da, da. There it is. Looking beautiful. Done. Yummy. Delicious. I've got bread for two days. I'm gonna call it a video. Thanks for coming along. If you haven't tried out this recipe, um, I don't know. Borrow a book from your library. Maybe it's online. I don't know. Quadruple it. 
make it. It's yummy, it's easy, and it doesn't stick to the pan like cakes do. All right, folks, have a great night. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.